Hey, what's up? Are you having trouble getting an object to rotate on a local axis after giving the object an angle or a tilt? An example of the issue that some people have is that after giving that object an angle or a tilt, you can press R and then press Z two times to rotate the object on the local Z axis. And when you move your mouse around, it rotates perfectly on the local Z axis. But when you try to set keyframes on the local Z axis to animate the rotation, and then try to play it back, it rotates on the global axis and not the object's local Z axis. The solution to this is quick and easy. Let's take a look. So I just refreshed my scene and I already have an object created that I'm going to use for this example. The first thing that I'm going to do is press R and then Y to tilt the object on the Y axis. Then I'm going to type minus 25 to rotate 25 degrees to the left and press enter. Hold the shift key and press A to add an empty. You can choose any shape that you like. I'm going to choose a cube. And I like to move the empty off to the side a little bit so that I can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. So I'm going to press G and then X to slide the empty just a little bit here on the X axis. Then select the object that I'm trying to rotate and click on the Constraint Properties tab. That's this one here. Add an object constraint and choose Copy Rotation. Click the eyedropper and choose the empty as the target. Now you'll notice that the object temporarily lost its tilt, but over here in the Constraint Properties tab, turn off X and Y, I get the tilt back. And this is because we only want to affect the object on its Z axis. So at this time, I'll also change the owner to local space. Next, I'm going to make sure that I'm on the first frame of the scene. And I can do this by dragging this tab back to the beginning here, or from anywhere on the timeline, I can hold the shift key and press the left arrow to snap back to the first frame of the scene. Then I'm going to select my empty and press I to insert a keyframe. Choose rotation. Now I'm going to choose another frame on my timeline. I'm going to skip to 90 and then put the mouse back up here in the 3D viewport area because if I leave it down here, it's not going to work. So up here, I'm going to press R and Z, and I'm going to type 360 and press Enter to rotate the empty 360 degrees on the Z axis. Now I'm going to press I to insert another keyframe, and I'm going to choose Rotation. Now if I hold Shift, press the left arrow to snap back to the first frame, and then hit the space bar to play, you'll notice that the object is rotating correctly on its local Z axis. I'm going to hit the space bar again to stop the animation. Over here on end, I'm going to change this to 90 to match up with the last frame in the timeline that I added a keyframe on. And I'm going to hold shift and press the left arrow once more to snap back to the beginning. Now when I press the space bar, you'll notice that I have created a loop. But the loop speeds up, then slows down, pauses for a second, and it starts again. So the way to fix that is uh, let's hit spacebar to stop the animation, hold shift and press the left arrow to snap it back to the beginning. Both of these keyframes should already be selected, but you can box select them just to make sure. And then I'm going to right click in this area and choose interpolation mode and select linear. Now when I hit the space bar, you'll notice that the object is rotating at a continuous and constant rate. So I hope you found this tip to be quick and useful. Please hit the like button if you did and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. As always, thanks for watching.